Dr. K, is your passion the same thing as your purpose? Hi, everyone. Lately, I feel like my life is my life passion is psychology. Like this is the one thing that I should pursue. I started thinking about pursuing it in middle school or high school, but then I thought it wasn't a good idea for a while. Now I'm thinking about it again, and I'm almost 25. Almost every day I think about the psychological struggles that my friends or just people like coworkers have told me about, and I'm always applying things I learned from watching your videos, as well as other sources of information to, to, to them to try and figure them out. Sometimes I get lost in thought trying to solve people's mental struggles like puzzles, and when I do feel like I've found an answer, I get excited. I get the feeling to tell the person right away because I think it may help them. I do not usually try to give advice, though, because I'm not properly trained to do so and don't want to spread misinformation. I've wondered if I, I like feeding my own ego, and it, but I really feel like I genuinely want to help people, especially with things that I manage to cope with pretty well, like anxiety. However, maybe I'm wrong. I'm not sure. But when I think of pursuing psychology, I think about how difficult it will probably be and feel like I'm just not in the position to pursue it and it appears to be competitive. It seems like to really have a career in the field, I need to get a doctorate from an accredited school. It sounds like a lot. I'm barely able to take care of myself. I'm majoring in IT right now, and I'm struggling to balance it with my job, and I'm struggling to stay motivated to continue it. But I still feel like I have my own problems to fully overcome, such as social anxiety and past traumas, which I think has gotten better, but needs much more work. I simply just do not feel like I'm ready to pursue it. But at the same time, I wonder if I'll ever be ready. And then I think, is this really what I'm meant to do? Or am I just making excuses? So, great post. So this is what I'll say, okay? The biggest handicap in life is waiting to be ready. So everyone wants to do things when they're ready. But the truth is that like readiness is like kind of a scam and waiting to be ready is the most paralyzing thing that you will ever experience in life. So let's try to understand what does it mean to be ready? So if we look at this post, what we see is this person is like, I'm 25 years old. So maybe some shame, they've fallen behind, things like that. I really care about psychology. I really care about helping people. Fantastic. But it's a lot of work. I don't know if I'm going to be ready. And I don't even know, like if I even start the doctorate, will I finish it? Like, will it be good enough? Am I going to be capable? You see all of the excuses. So I want, this is what I want you guys to see, okay? All positive. I found the answer. I get excited. I get feeling I'm not properly trained. I don't want to spread information. I'm trying to help people. I like helping people. And then the doubts start to arise, right? So here's like a pretty honest, I don't know if I'm feeding my ego. And then, here, but, hoo -hoo. my passion in life is psychology. You know, I'm thinking about it again. Almost every day I think about it. Positive, 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 positive. But. Appears to be competitive. It sounds like a lot. I'm barely able. Majoring. Struggling. I also have my own problems. To fully overcome. You see that? I'm not going to be ready until I fully overcome my problems. I wonder if I'll ever be ready. Right? So this person is already starting with the idea that I have to be ready in order to do it. So readiness is the most paralyzing thing in life. Because what is readiness? We look at this post, and I, I encourage you guys to think about it. When, when, uh, I'm going to be ready to ask this person out. When? When I'm in shape. I'll be ready to go to the gym when I won't embarrass myself. I'll be ready to apply for the job when I know I'm going to get it. I'm going to be ready to apply for college when my GPA is good enough. I'm going to be ready to apply for college when I've written an awesome personal statement. So what is ready? What does that mean, to be ready? It means to be free of your doubts, right? Because if you do it before you're ready, what is the experience, what is the state of being before you're ready? Oh, it may not work. I don't know if it'll work. What if I can't do it? I have all my crap to overcome. It may not work. Uncertainty. What you're looking for is something to wipe it away. Readiness is like a cheat code in life, right? It's like a cheat that wipes away. It's this mythical thing that wipes away all of your anxieties and your uncertainty. Because when you're ready, you're, mm, I'm ready. I'm confident. Let's do this. Let's go. Right? 
just you don't want all those all freaking anxieties and no, oh, I may not be good enough. It's a lot of work. Like I want to be wipe. I want to free of all that crap. I want to just wipe it away. And once it's wiped away, then I will be ready. Once I fully overcome my traumas and anxiety, I've made a lot of progress, but I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet. I need to fully overcome it, right? I will only act when it's easy for me. My solution to success is to wipe away all of the negative things that I live with on a daily basis, and then I will go. I will go when I'm ready. And this is what holds us back in life, because you're never going to be ready. Won't happen. Right? Think about this. Just think about this for a second. How can you be ready for something before you do it? It's absurd. Right? Like, the, like think about becoming a parent. Like, no one's ready to become a parent. You don't know shit about being a parent before you become a parent. Like, it's absurd. Even having a second kid. Like, having one kid and having two kids is a completely different ballgame. Like, so here's the thing. When you have one kid, there's, uh, so thankfully I'm in an intact household, so I'm still married, right? So, like, you outnumber your child. So, you, like, you think, like, okay, I'm going to be a decent parent because it's, like, me and my wife, and we're, like, tag-teaming this, right? So, like, GG, kid. We got this. Then they get a second kid. You think you're ready because you've got a kid. I've, I have a kid. They're two years old. I've succeeded in parenting. And then it's a whole different ballgame because you don't outnumber them anymore. It's an even game. It's like, oh my God, screwed. There's two of them and they're both in diapers. GG, like I was not expecting this, right? I was not ready for a second kid. The truth is in life, we're never ready for anything. It's an absurd concept. The only way I was winning the game of being a parent is when I had the odds stacked in my favor. I wasn't ready for the second kid. I never will be. And you got to have one anyway. I mean, not y'all. It depends. You got to be ready. <laughs> but in reality, so this is the thing. Like, being ready is the most paralyzing idea in life. Because it's, it's a continual... Being ready is the ultimate form of procrastination. It's like the highest level of procrastination. This idea of being ready. Because what is procrastination? Procrastination is nothing but not today. That's what procrastination is, right? And until you're ready, you have an endless supply of not todays. I'm not ready yet. I need to work on this. I need to work on this. I need to overcome this. I need to fully process my traumas before I apply for a doctorate in psychology. What? You don't need to fully process anything. You just need to get your ass up and apply. But what if I don't get in? What if it's a lot of work? What if this? What if that? What if this? What if that? Okay, yeah, sure. What if all of those things? What are you looking for? Certainty? Or are you like, it's not going to happen. So if you guys are waiting to be ready for something, stop waiting because you'll never be ready, right? On a more practical sense, sometimes you'll be ready. I mean, I think that there's, you know, like there's g good reasons when people aren't ready. But for the most part, what I find is that being ready is just like, it's the biggest source. It's the strongest paralytic in life. It's the ultimate form of procrastination. So let it go. If you want to live your life, you can't live your life in a pain-free way. If you really want to make it worth living, it can't be pain-free. So to this person, I would say, apply for the doctorate. Who the hell cares? What if you aren't ready? You're just going to fail. So do it anyway. So you've got a choice. You can live your life. So for the last year, 25 years old, and you've been interested in psychology since middle school. So for seven years of your life, you could have been doing psychology and you chose not to, or you weren't able to. So give yourself some forgiveness. Cut yourself a little bit of slack. And also recognize that you've got a choice. Seven years from now, you could have a doctorate or you could be thinking about doing psychology, right? And it, just apply, work on it, try, give it a shot. And you say, oh, I'm not ready yet. So what? The consequence of not, not being ready is experience. That's what you get by not being ready. Could you fail? Sure. Would you, could you get accepted? Sure. But then you're going to learn stuff. And so then what happens, I think it's good that like you're learning stuff from here, right? But it's very easy. It's easy to watch our videos and like learn something from it and like try to talk to your friends and give them advice, but then also try not to give them advice because you're not a trained professional. So go be a trained professional. If it's what you're interested in, if it's what you're passionate about, if it's what you've cared about since middle school, then go do it. And then you say, but... But this, but this, but this, but this. Good. So then now you have your sequence of things that you have to take care of, right? So good job. You've done some of your work in processing your social anxiety. You've learned how to cope with anxiety. Like you're probably very good. But, but this, but that, but this, but that. So then ask yourself this question. What do you, what do you want your life to be? Are you ready to not be ready at life? 
or do you need to fix everything first? Do you need to put all your ducks in a row? And recognize, dig into that. Look into like, why do you need your ducks in a row before you start doing something? Now, what's the consequence of your ducks not being in a row? And now we come back to it, failure, right? You want everything to be perfect because if you're perfect, then everything will work. And then you can have confidence that everything will work. Once you're certain, then you can have confidence. It's an interesting oxymoron because confidence doesn't come from certainty. Confidence can't exist when there's certainty. If I'm playing SC2 and I use a map hack and some kind of bot to like do everything, I can be certain that I'm going to win. But I'm not going to be confident in my skill at StarCraft. You guys get that? Confidence doesn't come from certainty. It comes from uncertainty. It comes from acting in the face of uncertainty. It comes from surviving uncertainty. You're never going to be confident if you're ready. Confidence comes from acting when you're not ready, from giving it a shot and learning that, hey, even if I'm not ready, look at this. I'm able to succeed. And then you'll, then you'll really be ready. Then it's going to be like GG game over and you're going to start living your life, the life that you deserve to live and the life that you owe yourself. So get your ass to actually like applying and doing the things that you do and don't wait until you're ready. Go. Go.